Well, for me, I knew that on this journey, I needed to make a difference. Not only for my family, but for the school. Uh, but I do remember my principal saying to me, when you leave here, remember, you're going to get a story. When you complete your story, you have to return. Because when you return, that's the beginning of somebody else's story. But fourth grade, I attended Shaw Visual Performing Arts Elementary School. My dance teachers recognized something in me. Miss Rand invited me to her studio in University City. We didn't have to pay. Uh, she would also take me home to the city uh, every evening. And, you know, for her to invest that time, I just really started to enjoy it. My mother started to notice how much I enjoyed it too. I came from a family that wasn't wealthy or didn't put away to prepare for college. But my dance teachers really inspired me. My job was always to encourage the young people, go to college, pursue your career. Believe in your dreams and it doesn't matter where you came from, uh, the social or economic situation did not matter. I auditioned for the University of the Arts and made it in. I just always felt that she was going to be able to do and follow her dreams and get the desires of her heart. After doing Broadway and major dance companies, I eventually started choreographing for Club Med Resorts and then coming back to St. Louis. And I came home and as soon as I got off the plane, that's when I received a phone call. Can you come in for an interview at Shaw? And I've been here since 1999. <laughs> and it's about changing lives and making a difference. The concept of STEAM, putting the arts in with the math and sciences, is a no-brainer. It helps the students transition from one discipline to another. They process information that makes sense to them, and they are more engaged in all parts of the school. Dr. Spots is amazing at connecting with kids, knowing every name, knowing background, and making them feel important and that's felt throughout this building. In 1999, we brought in COCA. They took about maybe 60% of the dance students and helped train the students where the kids were given free dance classes. We also have the Muni, so it's a great, great thing. So having those organizations a part of help training and really bringing the kids' confidence up and you know, giving them that opportunity is amazing. She made it rough for me, and it was a good thing because now I know how to like not give up when it gets hard. Basically, she gave me that um, strength to keep going. I, what I would like to see is every school having the arts, having dance and drama included in music and art. These kids need a voice. Something I really learned from Dr. Spice is to be creative and always believe in yourself. She's amazing. She pushes um, the students harder and to work better. Congratulations, Dr. Spots. You're a good teacher. Thank you so very much to the Arts Education Council.